Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Rachel, Germany. Brilliant performance. Thank you. Loved how you're doing it. Um, did you know much of the story when you came into the project? No, I was, I was completely unaware of it. Um, uh, so it was uh, fascinating reading about the story in the script and, and even more fascinating getting a chance to kind of experience that firsthand. I because I went to Chatham uh, in my kind of for my research and um, I got a chance to go to the actual Coast Guard office and to, to and see the lighthouse and to walk around the town and uh, and and step foot on the actual 36500 boat which they still have as a, a kind of a, a museum piece and on at Chatham Pier and that kind of it totally brings home the scale of this story of the like how how small that boat is it really you know I was on it with like five people and it felt like that was probably should have been maximum capacity <laughs> and the idea that 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 boat physically that one that you're stood on saved so many lives on that day um yeah it's 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 a it's, quite, it's a miracle tale really it really is I mean what must go on in the minds of some heroes like that would you would you be able to do something like that just go and try to I don't know I, I don't think that we anyone can really answer that question until you're in the situation but um you know these men were, were so humble as well listening to interviews of from Bernie Weber he's he he tells it like it was just another day in in the life of his job and that he only did what was expected um, of him but I think uh, I mean it's got to take so much courage and bravery to be able to to, to, to do that and put other people's lives before your own now, I mean, not only it's a true story, but it shows us how powerful water really is. Now, yeah. you're afraid of water in the in the movie. How about in real life? I mean, I, I'm terrified of water. I mean, I hadn't been until, you know, watching this, really. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's like a huge force that you've got to respect and be careful of. Now, now when you watch a trailer, it says some very interesting things. There's moments that change your life. Mm. What moments changed your life? Uh, during shooting or in my actual in general, life? In your life. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I can't. I can't think of of of. Uh, your kind of life goes with the a flow, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and about um, and there's times that test our limit. Mm -hmm. What's the time tested your limit? Do you have anything like that? I haven't. God, I need to get out more, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and the last one. I mean, it's all in the trailer. That's why I'm bringing it in. There's hours in life which defines us. Uh -huh. What would define you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> all I can think about, which is so boring, is like work. I don't know. It's like work ethic or something. I don't know. Um, uh, I guess I, I don't like leaving things unfinished. So uh, whatever it is that I'm learning or trying to achieve in life, I always want to see it through. That's good, that's good. <laughs> I've been mean, talking about work. I mean, you started acting like like when you can walk, probably, yeah. like, you know, very, very early. I'm still um, seeing it through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it always something, you know, like, I mean, of course, you were very young at the time, you didn't know, but, I mean, when was the moment when you really figured out, like, okay, this is what I want to do with my life, like, forever? Um, so school was always very important to me as well, and it was when I decided to transfer from... I got into quite a good university, and when I they threw me out because I was acting too much, and mm -hmm. I had to transfer to Open University so I could do it at the same time. And realizing that that was the decision I was making, and that was what impo was important to me, um, was when I was like, "Oh, okay, I'm doing this now." <laughs> I'm, uh, and when I finished my degree and I was still acting and not doing anything else yet, I was like, "Right, okay, fine, this is it." <laughs> well, thank you for us that you're doing it because we like to see you. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Loved your performance. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.